Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Urvi and I'm back again with another latest AOR and ECOPR timeline for TR to PR pathway. So let's get started. The timeline number one for AOR is from Jessica. Je Jessica is one of my viewers and she says this has been a fantastic help to know where they are processing. I am a I applied on May 9th, 4.20 p.m. EST, link the application uh, around today, 29th November, a non-healthcare essential stream, right? So this is stream B, non-healthcare essential, just been requested to upload P police checks. So this is PCC, medical result uh, reviewed, that means passed on 27th of November. Hope this helps with the update. So thank you so much, Jessica, for sharing this with me. That's uh, very much appreciated. And I'm sure other viewers will appreciate this as well. Um, so that's good to know that uh, healthcare, non-healthcare stream has moved to May 9th, 4.20 p.m. EST, uh, where Jessica was able to link the application and see the medical was passed and PCC was requested as well as ADR. So that is fantastic. Thank you so much, Jessica, and many congratulations and keep me posted uh, on your timeline. All right, moving on to the next timeline here, we have Roshan's timeline. This is one of the latest in terms of when um, a, the update was, was received. Uh, and uh, even Jessica's timeline was latest in terms of when this update was received. So that's 29th of November, which is today, right? So what Roshan says is IG stream and Roshan applied under May 6th um roshan applied on may 6th 4 37 pm est and biometric instruction letter was generated on november 29th 3 36 pm very specific that's good uh, roshan is still unable to link uh, but roshan has booked the application for biometric instruction uh, like biometrics on november 30th 11 30 am right so for ig stream right now we can see that still timelines between 4 to 5 pm est we are seeing timelines around that time frame so that's good that's the most active uh, time frame so that's good thank you so much roshan for sharing and many congratulations moving on to the next timeline here gurleen preet shared uh, her timeline so uh, first of all congratulations and gurleen says that gurleen preet says that i am your subscriber from the beginning and thank you so much gurleen for being my subscriber very very much appreciated uh, she says that my lawyer uh, applied my file on 12th of july in essential worker non-healthcare stream so this is stream b I received AOR today, that is on 25th of November at 7.25 p.m. And I started crying in happiness. <laughs> I'm so happy for you, Gurleen Preet. Um, that's really good. Thank you for sharing your emotions as well. And uh, yeah, I know a batch of like bunch of people around 12th of July, 13th of July have received AORs, which is fantastic. And I'm happy to know that you are one of them. So keep me posted on your timeline. And uh, once again, congrats. Moving on to the next timeline I have uh, for you, AOR timeline number four, stream essential non-healthcare stream, stream B, applied on May 29th. AOR was received on November 23rd, was able to link the application on November 26th after three days of getting uh, AOR. Biometric instruction letter was received on November 25th for four dependents. So this individual has four dependents. Medical was, um, you know, updated on November 26th. Additional document request for passport for outland dependent and medical proof was also requested on November 26th as well. Okay. And finally, this individual says that received open work permit on November 17th, applied August 9th, right? So this individual applied on August 9th and received on November 17th. So that's August to September, September to October, November. So almost three months of waiting time for receiving open work permit. But that's good that this individual received open work permit before receiving AOR. So I believe people who haven't received AOR are receiving open work permit, but it's taking a little bit time. However, I've seen cases where people have submitted AOR up front and that makes the process faster so that's just my estimation based on the timelines which i'm seeing okay moving on to the next timeline here international graduate stream applied on may 6th 5 10 pm est 
AOR was received on November 25th and additional document request was also received on November 25th right so that's good that we are seeing more timeline towards like 4 30 to 5 10 pmst another timeline here for international graduate uh, stream may 6 441 was able to link the application on november 23rd and medical was passed on november 22nd okay moving on to the next timeline i've shared this timeline with you and uh, this is where crazy german one of the viewers or subscribers um, applied around 4 50 pm est ig stream and ur was received on november 26th then another timeline where the individual applied around um, 5 30 so this is one of the viewer got a comment in my uh, one of the videos uh, that this individual uh, applied around 5 30 pm est on May 6th, I was able to link the application November 23rd and biometric instruction was also received on November 23rd. That's great. Another timeline for 5, 10 p.m. and AOR for 25th uh, of November. Uh, yeah, several other timelines I've shared with you in the past. So majority of the timelines which you're seeing is after 4.30 p.m. And for essential non-healthcare stream, I've shared this timeline with you in the past, July 13th and July 12th were a couple of new timelines which we saw. A uh, bit strange, but seems like uh, there is some sort of batch processing happening. So good to know these updates. We'll keep an eye on what's happening and I'll share the latest timelines with you as usual. Feel free to check out my older videos to get another other timelines. So I always share a special timeline. So this is a timeline where this individual applied around 12, 13 p.m. EST and received biometrics um, on November 10th. So had to wait so many months to just get the first updates in spite of submitting in the first 13 minutes of the starting time. So that takes a lot of patience and I'm glad this individual kept his patients um, and finally great news came to him so uh, i just say the same thing keep calm great news is coming soon all right so let's look at the overview right now uh, as we saw from this video lot of timelines between 4 p.m to 5 30 p.m so that's the active submission time for ig stream many many applicants are still waiting who applied very early on that's just uh, uh, the way ircc has processed these files we can't do anything about it unfortunately all you can do is wait until you receive any update the latest timeline so far is may 6 5 30 p.m now let's look at overview of all the streams for IG stream we just saw up to 5.30 p.m. Essential non-healthcare worker stream that is stream B. We were seeing that cases are processed up to May 9th. Some cases around 29th of May and some others around Ju July 12th and 13th. And I'll keep an eye and see uh, if I get more timelines around different uh, dates. So I'll definitely update this. Uh, next stream is a healthcare stream. We have seen submissions up to June 20th receive AOR or able to link the application. And then we have seen the latest case on Ju August 25th, which is great as well. For French streams, we have seen June to July 30 timeframe. So um, I've definitely not seen many timelines in the recent days, but if I do, I'll keep you posted. Now, just a reminder, I provide regular updates on my channel. I provide you with the latest AOR and ECOPR updates. So if you haven't subscribed already, make sure you hit that subscribe button and you will not regret it. I'll be posting latest videos on my channel. All right. So we now know that there are two potential Omicron. If, the, if I said that right, uh, we now know that there are two potential Omicron variant COVID cases in Canada around Hamilton area under investigation, right? So all I can say is stay safe. This is not related to immigration, but indirectly is little bit uh, related. So I wanted to touch upon this. Um, you know, if we see more cases that this might impact travel um you know and there might be some restrictions again so holiday season is coming up please plan your travel wisely uh, as you have to be in canada before getting your copr uh, otherwise it's a very long process and you don't want to be someone who is stuck uh, and cannot come back to Canada without a long process, right? So just wanted to make sure that you guys stay safe first and foremost, and also keep all this in mind while you are, while your application is still active with IRCC. 
okay all right so we have seen this in our previous videos that according to you know cic news um one of the sources there are still 17693 applications in processing for tr to pr pathway this seems like a active uh, application number as lot of backlog is still there for tr to pr pathway and we haven't heard about any new refusal case which is really good and the fingers crossed i hope this continues and everyone gets pr very soon and just a reminder i create different videos to help you guys in the process and you become more aware of your own application and i educate you along the way so if you haven't checked out my other videos go ahead and check out videos like what is ghost update what is aor what is biometric instruction letter how to link your application how to submit web form how to contact ircc right i've created several such videos so let me know in the comments below if you have any other video ideas i will be more than happy to create videos okay all right so pr card timeline so the fastest we have seen is 15 days right 13 days 15 days that's the fastest now some people are still waiting from one one and a half month two months and um, again in same as the tr to pr pathway timelines it depends on case to case but majority of the people are able to get uh, within 15 to 20 days right so that's the general time frame right now and now let's look at the ecopr rollout timelines so starting with ecopr timeline number 1 thank you sarah for sharing your timeline with us and many many congratulations so sarah sh- says <coughs> that's funny so sarah says Hi Urvi thanks for these updates here's my timeline IG stream submission time 209 pm EST biometric instruction letter request was October 28th done on the same day updated on October 28th as well account got linked October 29th AOR came from Surrey on October 29th around 7 pm medical updated on November 5th old medical from 2018 ADR which is additional document request form 5669 on November 10th submitted on November 11th there was ghost update documents received and reviewing on November 17th and ghost update number 2 on November 22nd background check was completed and then PR portal from Calgary on November 23rd applied on the same day so replied on the same day PR portal credentials on November 24th, picture uploaded on November 26th, and ECU PR on November 27th. So this is like very recently, like just Saturday, Sarah received ECU PR. So definitely, I'm sure she would have celebrated over the weekend. So that is fantastic, and she says thanks and all the best, everyone. So thank you so much, Sarah. Once again, congratulations. Um, moving on to the next timeline here nehil uh, again shares um, his timeline with us and he says thank you for constant updates here's my timeline feel free to share with others as well thank you nehil i've done the same uh, application was under healthcare may 27th 8:55 pm est aor and application linking both happened for him on november 8th 9:56 pm additional document request was also received on november 8th for pcc medical test was passed on november 6th confirmation of document upload and we received uh, your additional document request so basically that email which iicc receives that we received your documents and they are under review received on november 16th all right and then he also received a ghost update he received another ghost update on november 18th okay and then that was saying that you will uh, we will send you a message when we start uh, your background check that was a ghost of day number 2 an additional document request proof of income um notice of assessment t4 was requested on november 19th and um, confirmation of document upload so this is like we received your documents on november 24th okay ghost update number 4 was received on november 25th portal request on november 25th portal credentials on november 26th and uh, nihil is waiting for ecopia 
so that is lot of back and forth with IRCC but good to know that IRCC was processing quickly and not uh, letting you wait nihil so that is fantastic and thank you so much for sharing that your timeline always good to get different timelines and share with people they get inspiration uh, and they are able to relate everyone is able to relate with this timelines because majority of you are in the same shoes right All right. So moving on to the next timeline, ECUPR timeline number three, Ashish Sani. Ashish, we have had several comments back and forth, and we have discussed so many things over the period of uh, so many months. So thank you for sharing your timeline with me, and many many congratulations. I'm happy that you received your ECUPR, and uh, yeah. So he says essential workers stream applied May six twelve ten twenty p.m. So when it started on the same day. in the night biometric email on september 23rd was able to link the application on september 23rd additional document request for ielts and pay stubs on um, september 24th submitted additional document request one on september 24th so same day ghost update on october 5th ircc received what was requested on october 5th right and then biometric was submitted on september 27th aor was received on september 28th ghost update number 2 on october 25th and then additional document request 2 for background declaration as two years data was missing in the form which ashish should have filled so that was submitted on october um, so received on october 25th submitted on the same day ghost update was received on october 26th ircc received the documents on same day on october 26th ghost update number 3 like so many ghost updates for ashish wow November third and November fifth, another ghost update, and finally PR portal email on November twenty third, uh, early in the morning, nine thirty four a.m. Replied portal email on tw- November twenty third, um, portal credentials in the evening on November twenty third, uploaded photo and address on November twenty fourth, ECO PR was received on November twenty fifth. Right, so lot of things happened for Ashish, and thank you for sharing the detailed timeline. Um, so congratulations, and Ashish says that thank you, Urvi, for regularly updating. You are helping a lot by sharing everyone's update. This really help people who are stressed and panicked. But don't panic, guys. Your turn will come soon. My estimate says that by next April, all files will be processed. So thank you so much, Ashish, for doing some analysis. I know we had some chats over the analysis, but this is good uh, for graduates. Uh, the process is already fast, around two weeks, um, if uh, only one ADR. One of my friends got ECO PR in just one week, but no PR card from the last two months, and uh, as IRCC didn't verify his photo yet. All right, great. Thanks for sharing all the information. Congrats. Moving on to the next timeline, applied uh, in essential non-healthcare stream applied 12:30 a.m. on May 7th. Application was linked on November 5th. AOR was received on November 6th. PCC request on November 17th. Uploaded on the same day. PR portal on November 22nd. Portal credentials on November 22nd. Uploaded photo and address on November 24th. ECO PR on November 25th. Moving on to the next timeline, uh, applied on May sixth, uh, IG stream 4:15 p.m. EST. Biometric instruction letter was received on 15th of November. Biometric was done on 16th of November. AOR was received on 16th of November as well. PR portal was received on 23rd of November, and on 26th of November, ECO PR. So this is like. less than 10 days or maybe just 10 days right um in 10 days you receive from your first update to the last update so that is which, which is fantastic really great timeline moving on to the next one so uh, this individual applied on 1st june under healthcare stream aor was received on 9th of november on 23rd of november pr confirmation email and ecu pr on 26th of november The next timeline here is IG stream applied at 4:30 p.m. on May 6th. Biometric instruction letter on November 9th. Application linked uh, on November 10th. AOR was received on November 11th. Additional document request IMM 5669 form was requested on November 16th and doc submitted November 18th. Portal request on November 20th. First, 
what were credentials on November 23rd, uploaded the photo and address on November 24th, ECOPR on November 26th. All right. So further, this individual says that submitted two applications with the same receipt, opted for IG stream in the portal, but accidentally essential worker stream was selected in the generic form. So he made this mistake, but in spite of this, um, this individual received ECOPR. So that's great. Fantastic. All right, timeline number eight is a special timeline. So this individual applied under IG stream 12.22 p.m. EST. Medical passed on 12th May. Upfront medical was completed. Um, and then AOR was received on 15th of July. PCC was also requested on 15th of July. PCC was uploaded on 17th August. Uh, ghost update was uh, received on 22nd October. And, um, and then the goes up to number two, medical was passed on November 22nd. So this individual had to uh, already uploaded medical, but was also requested for another medical. So this individual did it anyway. And then there was an update uh, that medical passed on November 22nd. November 23rd was portal request and credential on November 24th and ECOPR on November 25th. So a lot of waiting time for this individual. Um, because of the medical, because of, uh, you know, uh, other updates and ADR and things like that. But that is good that things went on and uh, received ECOPR. So special timeline, great news is coming soon. Moving on to the next timeline, this is Sony's timeline. Sony says, hey, will be just wanted to share my progress with you. I applied through IG stream 3.49 p.m. EST on May 6th. I got my AOR and medical passed on November 4th, biometric instruction letter on November 15th. I got, po I got portal uh, confirmation, like PR confirmation on November 19th, following with ECOPR on November 23rd. I am now waiting for my fourth photo to get reviewed in the portal all right so that is fantastic timeline sony thank you so much for sharing and many congratulations now another timeline i have shared these timelines with you in my previous video so i'll not go over them again but definitely things are moving slowly and steadily things are moving i hope IRCC is able to process all the applications by April as Ashish is saying. So let's keep a close eye and fingers crossed. My videos will keep you updated and I'll definitely keep you posted on what's happening under each of these streams. All right. So um, I don't have any other open work permit except from which I shared with you before that uh, the individual submitted around August and received open work permit in November. Um, so that's the latest on open work permit. And if you haven't subscribed already, make sure you subscribe. I provide you regular updates and they are guaranteed on my channel. And uh, let me know your questions. I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible. All right, guys, please take care and stay safe. I, I will definitely see you in my next video. Bye bye.